Former Portsmouth City Manager Tanya Chapman says she should get a $400,000 severance package included in her contract. A newly formed city council voted to fire Chapman for cause, they say, earlier this month after only months on the job. But a letter obtained by 13 News Now says blatantly misleading allegations influence council's decision to let her go. Eugene Daniel is in Portsmouth with more on her claims. We're told Tanya Chapman sent that letter and other documents to city leaders this week. In it, she accuses the mayor of embellishing information to influence the decision to push her out. Among several grievances, former Portsmouth City Manager Tanya Chapman says Mayor Shannon Glover made misleading comments on the day of her firing regarding financial mismanagement and alleged abuse of power. A clause in Chapman's contract guaranteed her $400,000 as city leaders fired her within one year of the job. But a city spokesperson and council members close to the matter tell us she was fired for clause, meaning the city wouldn't be required to pay. In a letter to council members, she references comments that she failed to complete the annual financial report on time. Chapman says she submitted the report in a timely manner, but the firm reviewing the report experienced delays. She also pushed back on claims as she told the mayor no investigations into the city's finances were taking place, saying she told Glover the opposite in November and provided audio recordings of their conversations to council to prove her claims. Mayor Shannon Glover declined the comment. Councilman DeAndre Barnes voted against Chapman's firing and says she didn't deserve to be fired because she was fired unjustly, just like anybody else that deserves what they rightfully um, put in their contract. She deserves that as well. In Portsmouth, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. We reached out to Chapman for comment, but have not heard back. The city named former, former deputy city manager Mimi Terry as the interim city manager.